Welcome back to another episode of DIY Golf Cart Garage. Today we're working on the Yamaha G29 and we're going to be putting a skid plate on it. This skid plate goes in the back, protects the transaxle. If you knew how much that little puppy costs to repair or to replace, you'd want one of these too. So I've got my skid plate, I'm going to get my golf cart, I'm going to jack it up, put on jack stands for safety, give it some eye protection, and get started on the car. Okay, right behind these two bolts that come through here to hold the rear of the motor up, there's two little drain holes. These little drain holes have got to be drilled out with a 5 16 drill bit. That's what's going to be holding the front portion of our skid plate. So once we locate them, we're going to drill through it, but be very careful. You don't go too far. We don't want to drill into the bottom side of the engine. Now that we got the front two holes drilled, the first bolt on the underside past this cross member, we want to take that one bolt out. This is where the back portion of our bracket will fit. Okay, now we'll go back up to the front portion where we just drew the holes and put our bolts down from the top to the bottom. Now I'm going to slide the rear bolt back in just so I can hold it up. Now with my half inch wrench I'm going to hold the top portion of the bolt and tighten the nut. Now this one, we just want to snug it up. We don't want to over tighten it because it is just going into aluminum. We don't want to strip that out. Well, installing that skid plate is going to save us a lot of money and possible a lot of damage being done to the underside of our golf cart. 
If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thank you for visiting us here at DIY Golf Car Garage.